Hey kiddos, so this week we are going to be working on division. Uh, previous to this, the week before last, we worked on factors again and multiples, just as a review. Last week we worked on some kind of more simple division with remainders. Now we're going to move on to some of the bigger stuff. I am going to show you the different methods that you can use when you're using division. However, I think I am going to spend the most time on long division. I don't want you to get confused with the other ones, but um, I am going to show each, each of the different styles to you in separate videos, I think. And then I will spend more time on the long division. Since we're working at home and working on things at distance learning right now, I know most of your families are more familiar with long division and they will be able to give you more support with that than some of these other styles. Um, with that said, if one of those feels more comfortable for you, please use it and then reach out to me if you're having any issues with it or need any extra help. I'm here for you and I will be there to support you with it, okay? But we're gonna start um, by doing a little review of some of the division terms and then we're going to start off talking about what the assignment will be and then I will break it down into each of those different ways that you can divide bigger numbers. Um, and like I said, spending more time on long division since that is probably what more most of you will end up using anyway and that you'll ha have more support with. Okay kiddos? So here we go. We're going to go through some definitions before we move on, okay? So how does a math superhero divide? They use strategies. All right, so let's see what some of those strategies might be. First, we're gonna talk about those division words. Dividend is the large number that is being separated into smaller groups. So the dividend is the bigger number that is being separated into smaller groups. This is a division symbol. And as we've learned before in class, there are many different division symbols, but this is one of them, right? Divisor is the number of groups that the dividend is being separated into. Okay, so the dividend is the bigger number that needs to be separated into groups, and the divisor is the number of groups that that dividend will be separated into. Okay, here's the equal sign. You are all very familiar with the equal sign. And the answer you get after you, after you divide the dividend by the divisor is the quotient. So the quotient is the answer or the number of items in each group. So that would be your answer. Okay, kiddos? Let's look at how that will look. All right, so now we have 37 divided by 6 equals 6 with a remainder of 1. Oh, you guys had some remainders last week too, right kiddos? So again, the larger number that we are dividing into groups is the dividend. Then we have our division sign. We have our divisor, which is the number of groups that we are going to divide that dividend into. And we have our equal sign telling us what the answer will be. Our quotient is the answer. It is the number of items that are in each of those groups that you divided. And if there is a remainder, it will say remainder one. So that is the number that is left over that does not fit into an equal group. All right. And we'll talk a little bit um, as we keep working on what that remainder actually means besides just a remainder. Okay, more divisor words. A divisor, so, right? Divisor is the number that you are going to divide the dividend by. How many groups that you're going to end up having, right? This is another type of division symbol. It looks a little different than the other one, but it still means that we need to divide, right? The dividend is the larger number that is being separated into smaller groups, right? We're taking the div dividend and we will be dividing it by the divisor and we will get our quotient, which is the answer or how many things are in each of those groups. So we have to always line our number up when we have the bracket like this that we're dividing into or the half picture, however you want to think of it, the half square kind of um, 
you always line it up. You see here because if we had to put this put the seven above the four, that wouldn't be correct because the four actually stands for forty, right? And seven cannot go just into that four though, right? It has to go into the whole forty-two in order to work correctly. All right, so I'm going to leave it at that. And then we're going to go through some examples on how to do different things before we get too out of control here. And, and I want to work through some things with you so you can see them. All right. So let's look at what are what your assignment's going to be for the week, or some of it anyway. So you're going to, we're going to work on 7.1 from our math series this week. And then it talked about those vocabulary words that we were just reviewing. Divisor is the number that you are going to be dividing the dividend by. The dividend will be the larger number that needs to be split into groups. And the quotient, as we said, is that answer. How many groups or how many things will be in each group? So those were our division words, right? If, and we know that our multiplication words are, each of these are a factor, and you get a product will be your answer, right? Okay. So, let's look here. There's three different kinds of division methods. There's the rectangle sections method, and we used that when we were multiplying. Right, kiddos? So you guys are familiar with how that works. Um, I will go through it and show you step by step how to use the rectangle sections method. And there is also the expanded method and I'm going to go through and show you exactly how to use that also. And um, there's also of course our long division method. I maybe it didn't come, I'll come up here, but um, I am going to stop here. Well, maybe not. Um, one of the methods is called the box division method. Um, I'm going to just briefly go through it, and then I will show you how to how it works a little bit. Okay, um, with our work as we're going through a problem or so. So the box to division method, and I'm not sure that you guys can see this whole screen here or not. I'll move this a little bit. Um, first, you're going to make a box to match the length of the dividend, 432. So in this case, it's going to have three boxes. Write the dividend, 432, one digit at a time in the boxes. Put a four in the first box, a three in the second box, and a two in the last box. Write the divisor nine on the outside of the box on the left. And remember, kiddos, this is just like when we were using the box or rectangle method when we were doing our multiplication. Other than now we are trying to divide, right? Um, so then you're going to look at the first box and decide how many groups of nine are in four. Well, there's no groups of nine and four, right, kiddos? So you're going to write a zero above the box. And then you're going to multiply the nine by the zero, and you will get zero. So then you're going to have four subtract zero equals four. And you're going to bring that four up here, and that will become 43 over here. Okay, then you need to decide how many groups of 9 are in 43. There are 4, right? So you're going to write a 4 up here on top of the box, multiply the 4 and the 9 to get 36, then you subtract 36 from 43, and you get 7. You're going to take that 7, and you're going to move it up here next to that 2, and that becomes 70. Two. So then you need to decide how many groups of 9 are in 72. Well, there is 8, right? So then you're going to take the 8, multiply it by the 9, put the 72 here. You're going to subtract 72 from 72 and get 0. 
So your answer would be 48. So that is the box method. Okay, Kenna, so let's do an 